Hey guys, so I'm actually riding the exercise bike right now, but I wanted to share with you what happened today. So at work, I was getting ready. Sorry, I was getting ready to end the day and um, realized that I had an appointment with the physician assistant in my surgeon's office. And so basically I had to hurry up and go um, into one of the provider's offices so that I could meet with her because my appointment was right at 4.30. So basically this was actually a rescheduled appointment because I was supposed to see the PA at my two week post-op point. But at that point I had just returned to work and didn't have a way to um, make the timing work, like it was a whole snafu. So I am almost to the six week post-op mark. Today, I am five weeks post-op and today I got some really good news. So she cleared me to kayak. She cleared me to swim. She basically cleared me to have zero restrictions as far as exercise goes. So that is super exciting. Um, she said that she felt like I was doing really, really good. And so I just wanted to let you guys know one of the things that she said, um, because I feel like it might be able to help someone who is um, maybe going through the same surgery or considering and who is short like me. And I'm sorry if the camera's bouncing around, obviously I am on the exercise bike, like I'm really exercising. Um, but, so I am only 5'2", five 5'3"-ish. Five and, sorry, I have hiccups. Um, she was telling me that the women who are shorter tend to lose more fat like sooner after surgery than weight and so she was like i really need you to focus on how your clothes are fitting and the non-scale victories right away after surgery and she's like everything else will fall into place i promise <laughs> but she's like so i just want you to focus on like all of the non-scale victories this soon after surgery because um she's like people who are short and she's like no offense no offense <laughs> but she's like the shorter women tend to lose weight a little bit slower but they slim down so like i told her you know how many pant sizes i've dropped and i was talking about this with a couple of my coworkers today actually because they had said that they could see a difference in my face I don't see it, so like I just have to take their word for it. Um, but basically, like they said that in my midsection I looked thinner, and in my face I looked thinner. Like I said, I don't see it, so it is what it is. But um, I just had to share with you guys how exciting it is that people are noticing these things, even though I'm not. Um, I. <laughs> I'm wondering what my liver specialist is gonna tell me because I go to see her tomorrow. And so I'm wondering if she will notice a big difference in my body shape. Um, I know it's been like three months since I've seen her, but we're following up every three months right now um, just because everything seems to be going fairly decent in the realm of liver things. So um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm super excited that people are noticing these changes, even though I'm not noticing physical changes. Um, well, not as much as other people are saying they notice. Like, obviously I notice that my clothes are fitting looser. Like, I notice that my scrubs look like huge on me now. Um, I notice how loose they are, especially in the legs. And like the fact that if I didn't have a drawstring on my scrub pants, they would literally fall off my ass. Um, but yeah, I am just trying to stay on track with things. And she said that the amount that I'm eating is good. 
So she said like doing a protein shake for breakfast is good and then having a quarter cup portion at lunch and a quarter cup portion at dinner and um, a snack before bed. She said all of that's good. So obviously I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and she approves of it. So I'm just hoping that eventually, sometime soon, I will start to see the pounds melt off, even though like I'm already seeing the weight go um, in different areas. I would like to see the pounds start dropping on the scale, but she did say, whatever you do, don't start weighing yourself regularly because it can get frustrating. And I had told her that we already like, I discussed that with the behaviorist and a couple of the dietitians, and she's able to see like the emails that I have sent to them. Um, so she was able to see kind of the conversations that have been going on. Oh, and also, um, I think I had mentioned to you guys about like the other exercise bike hurting my hip. Um, I don't know if I really mentioned or explained like what the actual problem is. Um, I'm gonna look back at a couple of videos and see if I ever explained it. And if not, I will make a video explaining the problem. But basically, um, my PCP, my primary care doctor, wanted me to follow up with the surgeon's office to see if he could give me a certain medication for pain for my hip. She wants me to wait, wait like at least another week before I start doing that because it can upset my stomach until like six weeks post-op. So I'm just gonna let him know that when I go back to work um, on Wednesday, because tomorrow I'm seeing my liver specialist, so I'm off, but yeah. Um, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm super excited. She thinks that I'm doing fantastic. She said that my weight loss is exactly where it should be for someone of my height with the starting weight that I had. So it makes me feel better knowing that she said that. I was actually supposed to see the surgeon later on this week and she said I don't have to do that now because I saw her. So we kind of just did like the two week post-op plus the six week post-op check-in um, so that I don't have to meet with him and I don't have to try to be like on a bunch of different appointments while I'm supposed to be working. So anyways, just thought that I would give you guys that little update. I'm super excited. I'm gonna go back to exercising or continue exercising. And yeah, I am gonna try to watch some TikTok videos because that's what I like to do while I'm on the exercise bike. But anyways, oh, I also made butterscotch protein pudding today. So I had some extra portion cups and so I made some butterscotch protein pudding. I thought it sounded good. So anyways, I'm going to bike away for the remainder of my 30 minutes. And then I will talk to you guys in my next video.